So this is the T Echo device. Um, this is one I picked up as an alternate to the uh, T Beam device that we're making for club gliders. Um, this one came pre-built. Um, it did have the wrong software on it, so I had to reload the software. And this particular one has the BME 280 chip, which gives barometric data, uh, which can be used by uh, your phone. Uh, nice thing about this is it has an e-paper screen and uh, does provide a small little radar um, without having to load up your XC sort of document or anything like that. Um, as you can see, the screen is showing a sort of a face fast asleep. Um, that's not taking up any power. It is e-ink. It's not a screen as such. So there is a delay in refresh. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and you can see it lights up. It is battery powered, uh, although it can be powered by a USB-C port. And um, very impressed with this device. Uh, the um, startup is extremely quick. The GPS pickup is extremely quick. And you can see right now, no aircraft data. Uh, but as it gets its GP, um, sorry, as it gets its GPS fix, that will change. Um, this button at the bottom, uh, where I'm to scroll through the pages. You can see it gives me altitude, barometric pressure in millibars and temperature in degrees C. Um, UTC time and a status screen. So you can see I have no aircrafts uh, in my vicinity. Uh, batteries at 4.1%. The B67 number there, that is the number that you would register for OGN. It's in legacy mode and I'm not receiving any signals. And right now, not transmitting any signals because uh, I still don't have a, UP, uh, a GPS fix. Um, as soon as it gets GPS fix, it will start sending enemy uh, data streams uh, out for another unit to pick up or for a ground receiver to pick up and then post to the internet. As you can see, it is e-paper. There is a delay in moving between screens, but that's fairly normal. I have no idea what the battery life is like right now. I haven't done a full test or what the range of this uh, antenna is. It's a little bit smaller uh, than the ones we've been using on the T-Beam devices. So I bought this unit outside. Uh, very quickly, it picked up a GPS signal. Uh, I am very impressed by the speed of that. And you can see now that it is starting to transmit its uh, location, GPS, altitude information uh, for other gliders to pick up. I'm just going to switch now to another screen. And you can see now I have a what looks like a radar screen uh, set to two nautical miles range. Uh, and right now there's just me sitting in the middle. It does give me a compass heading as well at the top. Um, very tiny numbers, just be aware. So I have another device here. This is the T-beam device we're putting into the club gliders and uh, it's hard to see because the LED strobing on camera uh, but this one is both transmitting and receiving signals, transmitting its own signal and receiving signals from this device here. And if you look on the radar screen it's a little difficult to see um, but there is a small dot right at the center because we're sitting on top of each other. One of the things I do like at this point is um, the next screen, which is the screen you can leave it on, um, shows the uh, traffic information. So it's telling me that I have traffic at my nine o'clock, uh, zero nautical miles out and 289 feet above. Um, so there is GPS uh, uh, anomalies, errors, I suppose. But you know, if you're uh, in your glider and you've uh, got a warning that you've got a glider slightly above you, you probably want to be taking uh, some note there. It's also telling me the um, the course of the glider, the ground speed of the glider, which is nice. Um, so I know which direction it's going in and how fast. And also the ID of that glider. So that's uh, C7777C is actually the ID number of that device over there. Uh, looking back at the status screen again, you can see that I am transmitting the number on the right there shows the number of transmits that uh, goes up to 999 and then recycles back to zero and it also shows the uh, messages that i'm receiving from other devices um i have just put out another unit and the tree over there uh, i've got a few of these units lying around um, and again the radar is showing me a nice little dot in the center 
um, but it does show that now that I have two aircraft. You can see there at the lower left, I have two. So hopefully if I go to the screen, it's giving me traffic one of two. First of all, I have my eight o'clock unit over there. Um, same altitude, uh, so it did sort itself out there. Hopefully if I touch this at the top, there we go, traffic. And be patient because the e ink screen two of two is at nine o'clock over there um same altitude and you can see a different id number c 7696b uh, now this unit doesn't have the ability to download the ogn database um, so you're only ever going to see id numbers here and uh, you're not going to see competition numbers that you would see in xcsaw if you were to load that database also note that this is Bluetooth only. There is no Wi-Fi chip in this device. So the only way I can connect to it is via Bluetooth um, and receive the NME str NMEA strings via Bluetooth. Um, correction, or by cable. So you can do a hardwired cable to a device if you can configure that. Um, but Bluetooth is your only option. There is no Wi-Fi option on this particular device.